playing time. So 11 Hinebra players have uh, seen action so far. And we're just in the opening quarter. Here's Cariasso. On the share, on the move, all the way for two. All the way, and he made it look easy. Went straight down the pipe. Nice uh, bank uh, shot there for Paul uh, for Larry Fonashier. Six point advantage for Alaska. Time winding down in the opening period. Here's Pakana. Pakana against Fonashier. Here's Mamaril. Misses the hoop, and uh, it's going to be last touch against Tinebra. So Alaska will get possession back once again and uh, right now they're looking pretty good after being down by eight points you know look at the, them they're up by uh, six points indeed uh, Hinebra started this game on a blistering note uh, leading eight to nothing uh, but then Alaska settled down at that time uh, couldn't get a shot off as Time expires here in the opening period. Despite uh, fumbling a chance to write the last sentence of the first chapter, Alaska will finish the first period on top 24-18. Well, no, but I like to learn different things all the time, you know. One country, one love, one language. <laughs> or three languages, whichever you want to say. Sunny Foss and the rest of the Aces finishing that uh, first quarter quite nicely after trailing by eight points at the top of this ball game. Yeah, he's just playing very steady. He uh, doing stuff inside. He's hitting some outside uh, jumpers, mid range. He's getting rebounds. You know, very solid uh, play from Sunny Foss. So we welcome you to the second quarter. Mamaril scores underneath. Uh, Mamaril played quality minutes so far for Hinebra. We welcome you to PBA Saturday. Uh, live here on CS9, Nico Halili working alongside Royalty once again with Vince the Prince. He's on. Uh, that's why I have to be. I have to get my best. <laughs> <laughs> right now, uh, Alaska is leading the rebounding war, 15 to 11. And uh, that's pretty much expected because really Hinebra is playing underhanded. Of course, they're missing the services of Junti Valenzuela, who will sit out his uh, this game for his suspension. And uh, of course, the entire conference, they have been without the services of uh, Mark the Spark for the A miss by Ferriols. Uh, the loose ball is picked up by Escalona. Ginebra down by four. And Escalona to Pacana. Touch pass. Salvation for three. And Escalona quick on his feet. Gets that basketball. New shot clock here for Hinebra. A little weave here for Hinebra. Ball goes back to Salvasoni. Here's Rivas. Time winding down on the shot clock. Pacana fires over Foss. Amaril with an offensive rebound. And yet another shot clock here. New shot clock for Hinebra. And it looks like they're just going to set up another play with a high pick. Escalona trying to go to the basket. And a nice tip in for Rafi Rivas. And it's good to see him get going. You know, he hasn't been scoring a lot of points in this conference, and it's good to see him get his first two of the ball game. You know, we have some uh, friends uh, watching uh, this game, and, you know, Vince, they're wondering. Uh, I'm talking about uh, big big time PBA fans, Joanne, Eileen, Janine, and Jasper Tolentino. And Vince, they're wondering, uh, for these two teams, uh, what are they fighting for in terms of placings for the next round? I mean, definitely Alaska, they have their eyes set on that outright semifinals berth. But what about Hinebra? What are their chances of, of landing, in, in, you know, outright semis, uh, quarters, and uh, wild card? Well, uh, let's start off with uh, how Hinebra started this whole season. They started off basically in in last place but then you know uh they went on a four game win streak that sort of got them back into the hunt the kings still have a mathematical chance of, of getting to the outright semis in quarter final burst but they need to sweep their last games for them to have a good chance and that's going to be tough considering that they'll be playing talk and text san miguel and rain or shine for their remaining games 
They're gonna be beat up by Christmas, I'm telling you. Parang death march, ano? Just like they'll be running through the gauntlet all the way up to Christmas Day. And they're just going to need a lot of guys to step up. You know, of course, J.J. Helterbrand has been playing very good basketball, having his personal conference best 30 points in the last game. Paula Tadi's playing well, you know, and now they're, Billy Mamarillo is playing pretty good. You know, they're going to need a lot of guys to really step up for them to win. Happy pass, Pagana, Mamarillo. Way to just attack the basket on that one. Really left uh, the whole play into the uh, hands of the referee because there was too much contact for them to call nothing there. So it's either going to be a charge or a, or a foul. Irvin Soto was tagged with his uh, first personal foul, sending uh, Mamaril. Has been really active and proactive really here for, uh, for Hinebra coming off the bench. Yeah, he's another spark that uh, Hinebra really needs at this point. Uh, they need his strength, they need his steadiness, and uh, they really need his, his, his ceiling, his height. So Mamarel goes two out of two, and Inebra and Alaska are all tied up at 24. Reno Lognatan is now in the game for Alaska. We are in the second period. Here's Lognatan, and he loves operating in the shaded lane. Ooh, that was so smooth coming from Raynell Hugnatan. Nice little spin move there and uh, got himself free with the left hand for uh, Tweener. Junjun Kabato is in the game for Rinebra. Here's Mamarin. Risky pass. It stays with Rinebra. Here's Pakana to Rivas. Rivas kick out. Kabato for three. The long rebound ends up with Raynell Hugnatan. Offline. But you know, I like the ball movement of Hanover. They're really passing well. A little stoppage of play. Mamarez just decided to uh, <laughs> to push Soto out of Cagayan de Oro. Just clearing out a little real estate. Uh, maybe he wants to put up a house or something. Cariasso, Soto, twirls. Carriolos wasn't anticipating that drop pass. Here comes Pacana, to Rivas. Outside once again, Mamaril. Nebra down by two as we approach the eight minute mark of the second quarter. Here's Pacana, fires and scores. Pacana can fill it up. He's one of those guys that once he gets going, he'll score in bunches as well. He's kind of a streaky player. And a uh, nice little shot there from about short 17. So we're tied at you at 26. Third deadlock here in the first half. Soto loses that basketball. Still completed by uh, Chris Pacana. Should have just went up strong. You know, when big guys try to dribble, they always leave themselves open to little guards with quick hands. Here's Kabato. It's going to be last touch on Alaska. So, uh, ball will be retained by the Jin Kings. As we see Willie Miller coming back onto the court. Here's Junjun Kabatu, bounce pass. Amaril with nowhere to go. Almost made that shot. He really had nowhere else to go, so he might as well just try to <laughs> go for the basket. And Almost. Corasher for three. With Nathan battling hard to get the offensive rebound. So still tied at 26. Ball is back with Willie Miller. He was just inserted in the game. He inserted back in the game as Kabatu slaps that ball against Corasher. Uh, so he never will get possession. Nice heads up play by uh, Junjun Kabato on that one. He knew he was going to fall out of bounds, so he <laughs> threw it off the Alaska <laughs> opponent and the uh, ball will go to Hanebra. Well, October comes in for uh, Chris Pacana. <laughs> and 
and uh, Alpadi coming in for Maki Escalona. There's a whistle blown here. Something was amiss according to referee Noe Looks like they're going to get Ellie.